okay my dear students so this is a question that i got on discord and so uh, let us read this question how to do this a small ball of weight w is attached to a string and moves in a vertical circle of radius capital r what is the smallest kinetic energy of the ball at position x for the ball to maintain the circular motion with the radius r okay so this question belongs to the topic of vertical circular motion and in this five minutes i am going to give you the complete detail of this topic so that never ever again you face the problem in such kind of questions okay let us see so let us first of all consider the top position here so i'm going to do a little analysis so what is happening here how many forces do you think are acting on the body so the first force that we think of is the weight w and then there is another force which is the centrifugal force that is acting on it centrifugal force centrifugal force is actually the reaction part of centripetal force and the magnitude for this is equal but the direction is opposite centripetal is towards the center centrifugal is away from the center so i am in this case i'm considering centrifugal force rather than centripetal because it will be easier for us to understand so centrifugal force is acting outside and the weight is acting inside so the resultant of these two will give rise to another force and that is known as the tension in the string now our limiting case here in at the top position will be that this tension should be equal to zero the tension is should be equal to zero only and only at the top position if it becomes equal to zero before it attains the top position it only means that the string will slack and the body will not be able to maintain the circular motion it will fall so the limiting condition is tension should be zero only and only at the top position and as soon as it loses the top position tension comes back again okay so having said that fcf should be equal to t plus w for the equilibrium t is taken to be zero and there we substitute the values from here we get v top minimum velocity because we are using the limiting condition is root of gr so this is the minimum velocity that it should maintain where it should maintain at the top position now okay this is it now let us go to the bottommost position now i am applying the principle of conservation of energy so the total energy at the top should be equal to total energy at bottom now total energy at top is kinetic energy plus potential energy but at the bottom only and only kinetic energy is considered why because we choose this as the datum line so the potential energy at x will be equated with zero from here let us now substitute the values at the top the velocity is root gr half mv square is the kinetic energy and the potential energy will be taken as mgh at the bottom it will be half mvb square okay so this will become half mgr plus mg height now what is the height of this body with respect to this datum it is equal to 2r that is the diameter so 2r is equal to half mvb square thereby solving this equation like cancelling this m and m and then multiplying this two here it will give you the answer as this so this is the minimum velocity that must be maintained by the body at the bottom position if it wants to maintain its circular motion and from here we can find the kinetic energy that will be required so minimum kinetic energy will be half m v square and this is coming out to be mgr mg can be taken as w and thereby we get d as the answer so my dear students this is uh, all but there is one more thing that i want to put i want to tell you the tension in the string is maximum at the bottom which is equal to 6 mg and the tension at the top is equal to 0 mg at this point the tension becomes 3 mg okay and the velocity is root of 3 gr 